In a historic development for Singapore, a city-state known for its clean governance, Transport Minister S. Icewarren has stepped down following corruption charges. This marks the largest corruption investigation involving the ruling People's Action Party PAP, in decades, and it's the first time a sitting minister has been criminally charged in the country. Ice Warren, a political veteran of nearly 30 years, is facing 27 charges, including corruption and obstructing justice. The charges allege that he accepted over 160,000 Singapore dollars, $119,000, in bribes from Malaysian billionaire Ong Beng Seng, in return for promoting his business interests. The bribes reportedly included business class flights, luxury hotel stays, and tickets to high-profile events like the F1 Grand Prix and English Premier League matches. Despite the charges, Ice Warren maintains his innocence and has pleaded not guilty. He is currently out on bail. In a statement, he said, I resigned as a cabinet minister, member of parliament and as a member of the People's Action Party because I believe it was the right thing to do. I am innocent and will now focus on clearing my name. This scandal comes at a critical time for Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long, who is planning to step down after nearly 20 years in power. The corruption probe has already damaged the PAP government's reputation, and experts suggest they will need to work hard to regain the trust of Singaporeans. Singapore, currently ranked fifth in the world in Transparency International's annual Corruption Perceptions Index, is known for its stringent anti-corruption measures. The last corruption case involving a Singaporean minister was in 1986. The country's anti-graft agency, the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau, CPIB, is leading the investigation into Ice Warren's case.